Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm one of the researchers here at the Monash Biomedicine Discovery Institute. Inside these labs, we're doing some amazing work looking at both the causes and the treatment of cardiovascular disease. So why don't you come with me and we can take a peek inside. Welcome to our main lab. So it's in here where we can take all of the samples that we've collected from our studies and look for biomarkers of cardiovascular disease as well as changes in gene and protein expression. So there are a number of studies that we're currently working on and these are looking at preeclampsia which is uh, a complication that occurs during pregnancy and it can actually increase cardiovascular disease risk in later life for the mother. We're also looking at cardio-oncology, so this is a new area of research and it's aimed at understanding the cardiovascular side effects of cancer therapies. One of the other projects that we're also working on is looking at sex differences in cardiovascular disease and it's becoming increasingly recognised that males and females suffer from cardiovascular disease at different rates and at different points in their life and we're trying to understand why. So come with me next door as we take a look inside our cell culture lab. We're currently standing in our cell culture lab and it's in here that we can take a peek inside the cells to see what's happening during cardiovascular disease. So we have various different models that we use to mimic cardiovascular disease where we can look at what's happening within the heart, in the blood vessels and also the kidney. So we can look at the cells to see how they're acting and interacting with each other and we can also look within the cells using this specialised piece of equipment over here known as a seahorse and for example we can look at a heart to see how a normal uh, healthy heart responds and how that differs with cardiovascular disease. So let's go take a peek now inside one of our other labs where we can look at the whole heart or whole kidney to see what happens on the tissue level. What we're standing in now is our integrative physiology lab and it's in here we can look at how our tissues are working such as our heart and our kidneys and how this changes during cardiovascular disease. So one of the main things that we're interested in is looking at how the kidney functions and that's because the kidney is one of the key long-term regulators of blood pressure and we know that high blood pressure is the leading risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So in this lab we do studies where we look at kidney function and we can see how that's working with the rest of the influences that are coming from um, other parts of the body such as the brain and the heart to regulate blood pressure and how that changes in different conditions of cardiovascular disease. So why don't you come with me and we'll take another look in one of our other labs. One of the great pieces of equipment that we have is a microscope that's equipped with a camera. The beauty of this piece of equipment is that it allows us as the researcher to be looking down the microscope and doing something and at the same time with the camera that's equipped our students can see what it is that we're doing. And so with this piece of equipment we can really train both our staff and our students with the latest techniques. We're now currently standing in our vascular therapeutics lab and we're here with Dr. Kristen Barb. So Kristen's working on our laser speckle contrast imager. And this is a highly specialised piece of equipment that allows us to view blood flow that's happening just below the surface of the skin. So this piece of equipment is really important for us for understanding the changes that are happening with blood flow during cardiovascular disease and it also allows us to assess our interventions that we're developing to treat cardiovascular disease. We're particularly excited to have this piece of equipment and with the Victorian Heart Hospital being built on campus, it's going to really speed up the clinical translation of our research findings. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed taking a tour at our labs here at the Biomedicine Discovery Institute and a sneak peek at the important work that we're doing. Thanks, we'll see you next time.